Hello, it's Mike here from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to easily spot ums and ahs in the waveform and get rid of them. Let's head into the uh, waveform view now of Adobe Audition, and I'm going to record a quick talk. So start a new audio file. And um, it's really uh, easy to um, uh, think about what to say if only um, I knew what I was going to say. Right, so you can probably spot the ums and ahs right here. Um, uh, and you can just chop them out like so. Make it flow. And it's really... Uh, just need to keep the flow. And it's really... Uh, it's really easy. To now, you see, sometimes it doesn't sound quite natural. It sounds a bit awkward. It's really easy. So try and match that up. That might actually work nicely by cutting the whole silence out there. It's really easy. Right, that didn't sound good. It sounded like it was jumping now. So you need to just use a little bit of discretion. Easy. Easy. Really easy. There we go. We're getting there. We are slowly and surely getting there. Really easy to... Really easy to... Um, uh, there we go. Cut out those. It's really easy to think about what it's really easy to think about what now notice there's a little breath there at the end as well um, which I probably should avoid leaving in and it's really easy to think about right I'm just gonna go in that easy still doesn't sound good and easy on my ear it's really easy one more time going right in try and match the peak of the wave uh, to the other peak and then you get a nice smooth edit it's really easy to Still needs a little bit of fine tuning here. We're getting there though. Really easy. It's really easy to, and it's really easy to think about what to say. If only um, I knew what I was going to say. Now you see the last um there at the end. I'm going to cut out that silence. Say if only um, I knew what I was going to say. You see, this is the worst kind of um, because actually the word has rolled into the um, so it's hard to edit out the um without making it sound unnatural. Let's try. If only I knew what I was going to say. If only I knew what I was going to say. But there you go. You see, that doesn't sound too bad at all. So really quickly, you can rifle through, cut out those ums and ahs. Um, what I would say, if something sounds unnatural, just leave the um or ah in and don't get all OCD about it. You know, at the end of the day, it's normal conversation, isn't it? So let's listen to this. And it's really easy to think about what to say if only I knew what I was going to say. Well, as you can see, I have managed to clean up those ums and ahs pretty safely, I would say. But um, I'm not quite happy with the edit between it's really easy. So do you know what? I might just edit that back and leave the natural um or ah in there. Like I say, if it doesn't sound good, leave it in. Don't get too concerned. But that is a brief overview of how to edit out ums and ahs. And if you go over to my Mike Russell VIP channel, I've got all this week some fantastic podcast editing tips for you.